Companions of Prophet ﷺ all together. The one thing that streamed through their hearts was their never-ending love for Sayyidina Muhammad ﷺ. They didn't come to this religion because of ilm or because of uh, fiqh or because, no. What attracted them to the message was love. They knew the character of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The beauty of Sayyidina Muhammad, which was only a ray of that greatness that Allah bestowed on him, that entered their hearts and that was enough to make them drunk, those who accepted. They gave everything. When you speak about Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, Sayyidina Ali, you have to know where they get their honor. When we say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah, Sayyidina Muhammad's honor is because he is Rasul of who? Rasul of Allah. He is the messenger of the Lord of all creation, our magnificent Lord, the one we will never be able to know an iota of his greatness. Allah. So when you say, Muhammadun Rasulullah, you have to know who you're speaking about. That Sayyidina Muhammad, his name is with his name. Maqroonin. People who don't want to celebrate the Prophet today, they will be in for the, it's a big surprise. Because the celebration begins in Akhirah. Because if, if you have an issue celebrating him nowadays, today's world, you will have a big surprise once they put you in the grave, as Naat Khan was beautifully expressing. Because when you go down in the grave, the hadith in Sahih Bukhari will be, you'll be asked one question. In every step in Akhirah, Allah will show the greatness of His beloved. When you go down in the grave, Allah will say, His angels will say to you when they come. One question. What do you say of this man? What do you say of this man? What's your relationship to him? How much do you love him? That's what they mean by that question. How much you've honored and respected him? And that's the first step in the grave. And those who love Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, they will say, oh, he's our master. He's our leader. He's the one we sacrifice our lives for. The one we, we were in ishq, waiting for the moment to see him. And they will be shown their place in heaven. And they will be shown welcome to you. On the Sirat, Yawm al-Mihshar, When all nations are standing in that very difficult day and they will go to their prophets one by one from Sayyidina Adam to Sayyidina Nuh to Sayyidina Ibrahim to Sayyidina Isa to Sayyidina Musa and they will say, help us. Difficult times we're in, help us. We don't care where we end up in heaven or hell, but just make this day finish. Let judgment come. And they will say, our Lord is angry in such a way that he's never been angry like this before. We cannot approach. Nafsi, nafsi. And they will all go to Sayyid al-Mursaleen wa Imam al-Muttaqeen, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he will say, yes, I am for this. This whole display. One prophet after another. Is there a higher honor to show who is Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi What will those who now say don't celebrate him? How will they feel then? How will they feel in the grave? And because of that one, 
that honored one, that great one, that beautiful one, to his Lord. What kind of companions he had. When you say, Ashabu Nabi, Ashabu Rasulillah, what are we talking about? The companions of Sayyid al Mursaleen, the one for, the, for whom you are existing today. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't exist. I wouldn't exist. This whole existence wouldn't be. And look at the khuluq of Sayyidina Uthman. He was known for his haya. Kana hayi. And, and Prophet Sallallahu said, لِكُلِّ دِينٍ خُلُقْ For every religion, there is a special characteristic and manner. وَخُلُقُ الْإِسْلَامِ الْحَيَاء And the khuluq of Islam is haya, is shyness. Sayyidina Uthman, that was his most pronounced trait. That and generosity. Subhanallah. Prophet ﷺ was sitting with his companion Sayyidina Abu Bakr, was sitting in his house, and he was sitting, not seeing anybody, and then the door knocked, and Sayyidina Abu Bakr was at the door. They said, it's, it's Sayyidina Abu Bakr said, let them in. Allah. They came in. Then they, Sayyidina Umar came. He also said, let them in. And he didn't move. And in one narration, it was saying he was uncovering his knees or part of his thigh. And he sat. He didn't move. They walked in. They spoke with him. He did. And then the door knocked and it was Sayyidina Uthman. And Prophet Wasallam lowered his garb. And he said, let, them, let him enter. When he left, Sayyidah Aisha said, this is perplexing. You didn't, you didn't move for Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. You didn't move for Sayyidina Umar. Why did you move for Sayyidina Uthman? He said, should I not be shy of a man whom the, the angels are shy from? Al Malaika. Sayyidina Uthman was sabbaq lil khair. When the companions came to Medina from Hijra, the Muhajirun, there was a man that owned a well called Bi'r Rum. And that man, that was his livelihood. And that was the only ma'adh, ma fresh water. And the companions from the Muhajirin, they were not used to the well water of Medina. So they had to go and buy that from him. And when they went to him, he was charging too much. Sayyidina Muhammad ﷺ came to him and said, let them drink for free in Allah's way and I guarantee you heaven. That person refused. He said, this is my livelihood. When Sayyidina Uthman heard this, he ran to that man, paid him 35,000 golden dinars and ran to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, I bought bi'r room, I bought bi'r room, I bought bi'r room. And Sayyidina Muhammad looked at him happy and he said, is the deal still standing? Is Jannah still available for this deal? And Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yes. Sayyidina Abu Huraira said, Sayyidina Uthman bought Jannah twice. With that well, and he bought it with Jaish al-Usra. When Prophet ﷺ was preparing his army and there was no itad and there was nothing. And he was encouraging the companions to give in Allah's way. And Sayyidina Uthman said, I give 100 camels with its full load, ahlasiha, everything on it. And then sat down. Then Prophet ﷺ continued to encourage. Sayyidina Uthman again stood up. I give another 100 camels. Three times until Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it will not harm Uthman whatever he does after today. <laughs> Nothing. Whatever he does after today will not affect him in any way. This is Sayyidina Uthman. 
marrying two prophets, two of prophets. No human beings on earth had two daughters of prophet, of any prophet, married to him, except Sayyidina Uthman. No human being. And Prophet, as Sheikh Sana'ullah mentioned, was ready to marry him up to 40, even some narrations to 100 if he had. And there is a hadith in Sahih Bukhari. To summarize it, Prophet was sitting on a well and Sayyidina Abu Musa al-Ash'ari was standing at the door. And the door knocked three times. First time Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, said to him, go to him, open the door for him and tell him, give him the glad tidings of heaven. Then Sayyidina Umar, same thing, let him in and give him the glad tidings that he's in heaven. Third knock was Sayyidina Uthman. And Prophet وسلم, said, give him the glad tidings ala musibatin that he will be afflicted with an affliction and give him the glad tidings in heaven. Sayyidina Uthman, when, when those ruwaybidah, those khawarij, that we have so many of them today, they were also back then. They came, 3,000 of them, and they came to kill him. He forbade the companions to raise their swords. They came to him and they said, Ya, Khalif, ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, Ya Khalifa al-Muslimin, give us the sign, we will kick them out of Medina. He said, no, inni maqtool. He said, verily, my beloved has told me that this is the musibah, this is the affliction, and I know myself to be killed, and I don't want any of you to be harmed. I don't want the blood to spill on my behalf in this Medina. He forbade them to raise their sword. And that day, that morning, when he woke up the day they killed him, he called his wife Naila, Ridwanullahi alayhima. And he said, oh Naila, I just, he was so happy. I just saw my beloved with Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Umar. They came to me and said, Prophet ﷺ said, fast today, because you're gonna break your fast with us tonight. Allah. And because of his haya, he put extra pants, sarawil, so that if they kill him, that his aura will not show. And he sat down, took, opened the Quran and sat down and waited for them to kill him. There is, this is غَيْضٌ min fayd. This is a drop from an ocean about the greatness of that one, Sayyidina Uthman. Allah, Allah.